This tutorial is about uh, types of savings accounts and this video was created for the uh, uh, Workplace Grade 11 course in the province of Ontario, Canada. Um, I just did a video, the last one, on uh, bank statements and type of bank accounts and I uh, used the um, CIBC and uh, BMO website so I'm going to talk about types of savings accounts so I thought I'd uh, be uh, distribute this around a bit and I'm going to use the Royal Bank for this one. So uh, if you go into uh, bank accounts uh, and then there's checking, with, I, in the uh, types of accounts I talked about checking and savings um, already. Uh, a little bit more about savings here. So there are lots of different accounts uh, you can go in and, and take a look at. Uh, savings accounts um, uh, do pay a little bit more interest than checking generally, but but the amount is still pretty low. So, for example, this high interest one is 0.5%. Uh, you're allowed one withdrawal from an RBC Royal Bank ATM, and that would be uh, over a month. If we uh, click on the uh, little footnote here, uh, about the one withdrawal from RBC Royal Bank ATM, uh, you get a lot of details on uh, the types of fees that you could see. Uh, for example, uh, uh, ATM RBC ATM access fee. Uh, it's now, it's uh, the fee is waived if you're only using a, an ATM from RBC. But if you're using uh, an ATM from a different bank, uh, then you will get uh, charged uh, uh, an additional amount. Uh, the it says uh, points over here. The uh, convenience fee is not a Royal Bank fee. It's added directly to the amount of your cash withdrawal. So you can get into other fees quite easily that way too. Uh, these uh, enhanced savings uh, or uh, RBC day-to-day -day savings account, if you click on the tiered, uh, you can see that there are, you earn, do earn a little bit more interest uh, for uh, having a larger amount. So it says zero to, well, $999.99, you get 0.005%. If you had $5,000 and over, it's 0.05%. I mean, it's still a fairly small amount of interest. Uh, and it, uh, the enhanced savings, um, I mean, if you have a quarter of a million dollars over, you're getting 0.15%. So it's still a fairly small amount, although the interest rate does go up a little bit, uh, depending on the amount of money, the, the more money you have in there. Now let's go back here. That's a little bit of a savings account. So accounts here. So investments. So let's take a look at uh, guaranteed investment certificates. And I'm talk about those and the tax-free ones a little bit too. So guaranteed invest investment certificates or GICs are um, they're not a savings account. You're going to earn a little bit more interest, but uh, in order to get up to a higher amount of interest, you have to put it in for the money in for a certain period of time. So if we scroll down here a little bit, uh, guaranteed investment, uh, guaranteed return GICs. So now um, a one year, I'm going to click on the one year cashable here. So you see, you have to have at least a thousand dollars in it, um, and it gives you some payment options for monthly or semi-annual interest. Uh, we can click on view today's rates, see what the rates are right now, and let's see here. So for these ones, uh, one year. Uh, now these are all a half a percent. So um, that's, and you can go to features and benefits, take a look at those as well. So those are the two tabs I was just looking at. Uh, it's still a pretty small amount of interest. Um, so let's go back and take a look at the uh, now non-redeemable and redeemable. Um, so uh, a non-redeemable means that you have to put the money in for a certain period of time. You're going to put in for a year or maybe a few years, uh, and these actually um, do give you certain minimums: um, five thousand dollars for terms between thirty and thirty days, and well, basically one day less than a year. Um, so uh, there's lots of different. Uh, so if I click on the non-renewable rates, let's take a look at those and interest rates. Non-renewable. So depending upon the number of days that you're in, so basically, well, that's basically uh, a month, one to twenty-nine days. Uh, you're getting um, uh, 0.05s. Now these are all still fairly small. Two hundred seventy days, three hundred sixty-four days. It's up to a half a percentage point. And uh, these actually tell you, you know, different amounts. If you're going from five hundred 
dollars to well basically a hundred thousand uh, dollars you're getting 0.9 percent for one to 1.5 years less a day um, the only way you're getting down here to two percent if you're putting in for 10 years so uh, the interest rate does increase a bit but you do have to have a lot of money in it so one more thing here I want to talk about tax-free savings accounts a little bit. Uh, tax-free. So there's actually there's uh, tax-free savings, and basically a tax-free savings account um, is a type of um, uh, account where any interest that's earned you don't have to pay tax on that. Um, so that's a tax-free savings account. You're allowed to put in. Um, well, actually, why don't we go into it and take a look at that uh, contributions. How much allowed to contribute per year? So, fifty-five hundred for two thousand sixteen, ten thousand dollars for the year two thousand fifteen. You can do this retroactively back too as well. Uh, it increases uh, five hundred dollars each year. Okay, so I believe in two thousand seventeen you could put six thousand dollars in. Now let's go back into investments here. Um, RRSPs are retire. <laughs> excuse me, retirement savings plans. So whatever amount you put into an RRSP is an income tax deduction. And so uh, you're not paying tax on that amount you invest in it. You pay the tax on it when you take it out at the end, whether it's you know 20 or 30 or 40 years down the road. Our retirement income funds, uh, education savings plans, uh, the nice thing about education savings plans is the government kicks in some money as well. Uh, so uh, you put in your amount, I believe they had 20%. So there's lots of different ways to invest, and I could spend literally hours, I suppose, going through all this. But that gives you a little bit of an idea, anyway. And that's the end of the tutorial.